Hi, hello children. How are you all? Welcome back to my class. Today in this class, we are going to continue our same lesson of maths that is multiplication. Yes. So, in the previous class, we have came to know about the properties of multiplication and we have solved some of the problems. If you have not yet seen that video, you can get the link in my description box. Okay. So, go and see that video. So, today we will start with another example that is here you are having example 2 which is in page number 3. Yes, a notebook contains 192 pages. How many pages do such 250 notebooks contain? Okay, so a single notebook contains 192 pages. Now, you have to find out that how many pages do such 250 notebooks contain. Okay, so that time you, what you have to do here? You have to do the multiplication, right? So first let's write the statements here. Number of notebooks is equal to how many number of books are there? 250 and number of pages in each notebook is it is 192, right? Yes, 192. So, here this, therefore, total number of pages in 250 notebooks, we have to see that, okay, we have to calculate this one. So, first one, what you have to do, you have to see the number of notebooks, that is 225, sorry, 250, number of pages in each notebook is 192. So, here I have written the same example, that is 250 into 192. Let's do this one to see the total number of pages in 250 notebooks. So, we have to do the multiplication here. Okay. So, let's do it. As you know that we have to start from the unit place. So, first we will take this 2 which is in the unit place and we have to multiply this 2 with this whole number. Then 9 with this whole number, then 1 with this whole number. So, let's start here first one 2. So, 2 into 0. 0. So, this is one of the property of the multiplication, right? So, 2 into 0 is 0. Then, 2 into 5, 2 5 are 10. So, here 2 5 are 10. So, 0 will write here and this 1 will carry over to the next place here. Isn't it? Next, 2 2 is a 4. 4 plus 1. We have to add this carry. So, 2 2 is a 4 plus 1. It is 5. So, 500. Okay. So, it is 500. Next, we have done with this number which is in the unit place. Now, come to the number which is in the 10th place. So, we have to multiply this number with this whole number. Okay. So, here 9 into 0, 0. Where I have to write this 0? Here, no, because this number is there in the 10th place. So, here we have to write this answer here. 9, 0, 0. Here what I have to write? I have to write the addition sign. Because as you know that the multiplication is a repeated addition. Right? Yes. So, next. 9, 5 is a how much? 45. So, 9, 5 is a 45. So, I'll write this 5 here and this 4 will carry over to the next place here, right? Yes. So, 9 to the 18. 18 plus 4 is how much? 18 plus 4 is how much? Yes, it is 22. So, I'll write this whole 22 here because here we are not having any of the numbers. So, we are we not supposed to give any of the carry, right? Yes. So, here... Let's, what I have to do here? Yes, now we have done with the number which is in the 10th place. Now the last number which is in the 100th place, that is 1. So let's multiply this 1 with this number. So 1, 0, 0. Where I have to write? Here? No. Here? No. Here. Because this number is in the 100th place. So here I'll put the plus sign. Okay. So here, 1, 0, 0. Next, 1, 5 is a 5. I'll write here 5. 1, 2 is a 2. So, now, let's add all these numbers. Because here we are not having any of the number to multiply. Right? So, let's add all these numbers. 
zero here plus plus nothing is there means zero only here zero plus zero zero here nothing is there so zero next five plus five ten ten plus zero ten only so we'll write zero here and one will carry over to the next place yes next two plus five seven seven plus one Eight. We have to add this carry also, right? You know it. Next, two plus two, it is four. So I'll write four here. So what is the answer here now? Forty-eight thousand, isn't it? So therefore, there are forty-eight thousand pages in two hundred fifty. Notebook. So this is your answer. That is forty-eight thousand. Understood? Yes. Now we'll go with the another concept of this lesson. That is multiplication of a four-digit number by one or two-digit number. Okay, we have to multiply four-digit number by one or two-digit number. So for example, multiply two thousand four hundred and sixty-eight by seven. So let's multiply it. So here I have written the same example two thousand four hundred sixty eight into seven. Okay, so let's multiply this one. So here first we have to start from the unit place. So here we are having only one number, only one digit is there. So we have to multiply this number with this whole number. So so seven eights are how much? Seven eights are fifty six. Right? How to write the fifty six like this? So six, I'll write here below this number, and this five will carry over to the next number. Yes, next seven six is how much? Seven six is forty two. Forty two plus five here. Forty two seven or uh, seven six is forty two plus carry five. So how much it will be? Just add and tell me. Yes, it is forty-seven. Good. So here this seven I will write here below this number, and this four will carry over to the next place here. Yes. So this four will be here. Next seven fours are seven fours are twenty-eight. Twenty-eight plus four is how much? Twenty-eight plus four is thirty-two, isn't it? So thirty-two. So I'll write this two here, and this three will carry over to the next place here, isn't it? Next seven two is a fourteen. Seven two is a fourteen. Fourteen plus three. Fourteen plus three is how much? Fourteen plus three is seventeen. Very good. So seven will write here, and this one will carry over here. See, we are not having any of the next number, right? So what we have to do in this case, we have to write this whole number here directly because we are not having any of the number here to give the carry, right? Yes. So now let's what we have to do. Yes. Should I do the multiplication or sorry addition? No, because here we are having only one number, right? So what is our answer is? So the product of two hundred and sorry two thousand four hundred sixty eight and seven is seventeen thousand two hundred and seventy six. So what is the answer? Seventeen thousand two hundred seventy six. So this is the answer. Okay. Yes. So we'll take another example. So you find the product of one thousand three hundred and seventy six and thirty four. Okay. You have to find the product of these numbers. So let's do it. So here I have written the same example one thousand three hundred seventy six and thirty four. So let's do it. So one thousand three hundred seventy six into thirty. Four, okay. See here, we are multiplying with the two digit. Here we have done with the one digit, right? So in the same way, we have to do with the two digit. So let's do it. We have to start from the number which is there in the unit place, right? So here, 
we put the line like this so four six are four six are how much four six are twenty four so twenty four how you have to going to write this twenty four so four will write here and this two will carry over to the next place right next four seven za how much four seven za twenty eight right twenty eight plus two twenty eight plus two yes thirty right so how you are going to write this thirty zero will write here and the three will carry over to the next place next four three za how much four three za twelve right so four three za twelve twelve plus three is how much twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so fifteen five i'll write here and the one will carry over to the next place next four ones are four plus one it is five right so now we have done with the number which is in the unit place now come to the number which is in the ten place so we'll write plus here first then three six za how much three six za eighteen so how are how you are going to write this eighteen eight i'll write here and this one will carry over to the next place next three seven za three seven za twenty one right right so twenty seven three seven za twenty how much three seven za twenty one right so three seven za twenty one plus one it is twenty two so where you have tried this twenty two to I'll write here and this next two will carry over to the next place here okay next three three za nine nine plus two how much eleven right so one I'll write here and the next one will carry over to the next place here so three one za three plus one so it is four. Three ones are three plus one, four. So now let's add these numbers, because we are not having any other number here to multiply, right? So let's add it now. So four, we'll write four here, and this because here no number is there. So four zero plus eight is eight, five plus two is seven, five plus one is six, and the four. Here not no number is there, so four as it is. So what is the answer here? It is forty six thousand seven hundred and eighty four. Forty six thousand seven hundred and eighty four is the answer. So this is the product of the numbers one thousand three hundred seventy six and thirty four. The product is forty six thousand seven hundred and eighty four. So this is your answer. Understood? How to multiply the uh, whichever the five digit or four digit number by two digit number? Here we are having two digit number, right? Yes. So hope you understood all the uh, concepts whichever we have learned today. Yes. So children will continue the same lesson in the next class. So be with me till then. Take care. Bye bye. If you think that re video is really useful to you. Please like it, share it and subscribe my channel to get the more videos. Thank you.